one thing that's a little bit specific around uh, uh, passive houses, uh, certainly around B public assemblies, but generally almost any building that uh, or thermal envelope design that has a continuous vapor air control layer is that it will have a service cavity of some kind. So. Uh, what that service cavity is intended to do is really be consistent, minimize the amount of penetrations in it, because this right here, the, the, the integrity of this air barrier is really responsible for like approximately 30% of your building performance. Like 30% of energy lost in a building typically is through air leakage. And so this layer right here is uh, intended to uh, prohibit that. And so B public wall assemblies have interior furring strips like this, either two by four or two by three at 24 inches on center. Um, and this is what the interior finish would get directly applied to. And electrical's fairly simple. It just can be run and stapled along those furring strips, as well as passing directly um, behind the furring strips in order to go vertically. Because again, typically this is just dense pack cellulose. So it can be depressed a little bit in order to fish the wiring through. And so these uh, horizontal spaces are continuous, so wiring can run continually around the perimeter of the building, and then wiring can go vertically by slipping it behind those furring strips anytime it's needed. On a roof assembly, uh, it's very similar. Um, it's a little bit of an odd perspective here, but that again, you have furring strips running perpendicular to the framing. And really what we uh, use quite a bit or recommend are these low voltage, they're LED um, uh, shallow light fixtures. They're amazing sort of plug and play fixtures um, that have a quick disconnect like this. So this is your junction box. Uh, it's less than an inch and a half thick. It gets installed. And then the, just the penetration is made for these clip receptacles uh, that just clip in and can be uh, hot swapped as needed. Again, the, fur the electrical can just run parallel continuously with those furring strips or be depressed and run perpendicular by sliding that wiring behind the furring strips. It's fairly simple.